guys favor welcome to my channel it's our Fenwick life today we have a stitch fix I'm very excited it's November it's time for the November stitch fix I am super excited stitch fix is a clothing subscription box there is a $20 fee per box per fix that you request or have scheduled or however you have your stitch fix set up. Um, mine, I'm scheduled to receive a box once every two to three weeks, um, but typically uh, I will change that date uh, because I travel so much. So you can change the date, you can schedule it for a specific date, you can set it for once a month, once every three months, once every two weeks, whatever you wanna do, you can set it up. If you decide not to purchase something in your box, then you do forfeit your styling fee. So there you go. Okay, so in the box, here is my paperwork, and here is my envelope. Everything or anything you don't want to keep you or exchange, anything you need to exchange, you put back in this bag, or you put in this bag, you stick it right in your mailbox, and your mailman will take it away for you. Oh, it's a big bundle this week. Oh, there's denim in there. There we go. So many things, wow. All righty. So let's see what's in here. Now, I completely forgot to leave Madison, my stylist, a note. Completely forgot. Time got away from me. So let's see what she says very, very quickly. Hi, Favor. So happy that the blush tank in your last fix was everything you hoped for and more. With no request for today's package, I focused on including your core fall colors of navy, burgundy, and gray. See, she knows me so well. As well as finding some inspiration from your Pinterest. I am so happy to finally be able to snag these whoo, driftwood embroidered cuff straight leg jeans for you to try in person. You sized up in this size previously, so I sized up in this style too. You are amazing, Madison. They're a year round denim that you can team with sandals or ankle boots. Try the denim with navy textured print top and your cranberry cardigan from the last fix for an additional layer. I included the Vixby blouse because you had two block two black blouses with floral prints pinned. Try this blouse with your olive denim and black plaid for a holiday get together this fall. XOX Madison. She is so awesome. First of all, she remembers when I size up, size down, when I change sizes, she remembers all of that. That is awesome. I don't know how they remember all of that, but they do. Maybe it's in their notes or something. I don't know, but I really appreciate it. So here's the deal on these pants. <laughs> I have had these pants pinned forever. And the little note in the pin says, if you ever find these, please send them to me. Because I got, I, I saw them, found them late in the season and I didn't think they would have them and she found them. So that's the denim that's in here. I'm so excited. I am so excited and she sized up so hopefully they'll fit me. Driftwood runs a little small and they are expensive. So there you go. Look at this gorgeous tank. This is beautiful. I love the texture on this. Oh, this is Market and Spruce. Let me get my price sheet out, sorry about that. I opened the wrong thing. All right, this is Market and Spruce uh, Adize, Azid. I can't even read. Azid Texture Print Top, Navy Medium. Ooh, that's a little pricey, $58. Oh, this is gorgeous though. I love this texture, I don't, it's, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera. There we go. I really like that texture. I love a great basic tank. Wear a cardigan over it like she said. Oh, I really like that, okay. It's a little pricey. I, I mean, I'm not gonna, $58 is a lot. That's so pretty though. Okay, now this one, I love this floral. I really do. Uh, this is, oh, it's a tie in the front. Mm. I'm not always the biggest fan of that. For me, at the age that I am, I think you have to be really young to wear the tie in the front. Just for, that's my personal opinion. A lot of people pull it off. For me, I feel like it ages me a little bit. Um, but I do really like this. I like the sleeve. I like that the sleeve is just a little button. It doesn't have the roll tab. Uh, roll tab underneath the cardigan creates bulk and drives me crazy. So, but this looks really, really cute. This would look great with the burgundy cardigan too. Oh. So, so pretty. This is soft. Okay, what are you? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> oh, it's a cow neck. Now, it depends upon the cow neck. I have I broadened my horizons with the cow neck top. But I 
do love it. I love this drawstring down here so you can draw it in if you want or leave it loosey-goosey like I prefer if you want. But on cold days, if it's breezy, you can kind of tie it up and keep yourself a little warmer. <laughs> yeah, love a pellet. This is very, very soft. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I love the color, but the color might actually drive me crazy. I don't know. We will see. I, I Sometimes I say that, and then you try it on, and you're just like, I love this. So we will see. I love the gray. Oh, this is like, this is a jacket jacket. Oh, interesting. Oh, so soft on the inside. All right, this is a hooded straight gray jacket. Interesting. I'm not sure I need this. It's it it isn't often very cold here, but um it has a hood on it. It is a zip up. It's really really cute and nice and it's great and soft. It looks like it's really easy to wear. Um, to me, this kind of looks more like a like a workout, like you would wear with your workout equipment, workout equipment, workout gear, uh, clothing. So I don't know. We'll have to see. I I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, and I have a lot of jackets. <laughs> I'm not sure I need another one. And then here, especially because I live in Texas, here they're even better in person. Oh, I love these. Absolutely. And the texture on that, on that, oh, these are gorgeous. These, the stickler on these, $118. I have another pair of driftwood, and thanks to you guys clicking on my link last summer or spring, I was able to actually keep them. Thanks to you guys. So um, I'm going to have to really, really think about this because. Yikes, that's expensive. You know what, I I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I love these. I absolutely love these. She finally was able to find them and send them to me. I would hate to send them back. Okay, so, gosh, they're so beautiful. All right, you've seen me try everything on. Now I'm gonna go try everything on and see it, and I will be right back for the recap. Okay, I apologize for any craziness going on here. Changed clothes a lot just a minute ago. Uh, I did forget to try on for you Market and Spruce Cadenza fleece jacket. Um, it's it's cute, it's fine, but like I said, it's more like a to me what it would be a workout jacket. And I actually have a few of these, not as nice as this one, but um, I do have one already. So, and it's fine for Texas. I love this blue tank. It's very pretty, and if it's in my budget, I'm going to keep it. I like it. I love it. I think it looks great with these pants, and I like the um, I like the pattern in the front. I really like that. This top, I love the print. I think it's a really pretty print. I like the style of the blouse, but I just really don't need it. And this, the tie in the front, is going to be a deterrent for me. It'll be one of those things that I keep passing it because that's the one feature on the shirt I don't like, so I won't wear it. Um, so, but otherwise, I really like this. I think it's very, very pretty. It's nice for the holidays. Look, would look great with a burgundy cardigan or even the green cardigan I have on. Any number of things. Percy, Love Appella Percy drawstring hem knit top. It just didn't do anything for me. I mean, it's really cute. But it just didn't do anything for me. It's just a standard little warm, snuggly top. And I think if we had colder weather here, I'd be all over it. But it's $58 and I just don't need it. It's not something I think I would even wear. Um, so, but it's super soft. If you live where it's cooler, this is very comfortable, very soft. It had pockets. It was really nice. It's just a little pullover. You could wear like a, um, a tank underneath or even a camisole is the word I'm looking for. Underneath would be really nice with that. The jeans. I love these jeans. I love them. There's two issues. One, there is a hole in them. In the seam, I noticed right here, there is a, the, the stitching is just completely not stitched there, right there in there. Now, the other thing is because of the way they are, have been folded and stored they flare out at the ankle, which is something I don't like. I don't like that at all. But I am thinking if I press them seam to seam this way, you know, if I press them seam to seam, then they will hang nicely. 
because they are not a flared pant. They are a straight leg pant. So I think I could, you know, iron them and they will be fine. Um, and just iron the stitching. I don't want the seam up the front, but just iron the stitching and I think they will be just fine. I love these. I love everything about them. They're very comfortable. They're not super low waisted. They, they fit, they hit right where they're comfortable for me. I'm just going to exchange them for a pair that does not have a hole in them. Now here's the deal. If they don't have a pair, because I know she just randomly found these for me, if they don't, I think, anyway, maybe they're back in for the season. If they don't have a pair for me to exchange, I will actually, if I can afford it, I will actually keep them and just have them fixed. I will let them know that there is a problem and uh, I will take them, geez, I think I could probably stick it right on my sewing machine and just stitch it right up. It just looks like the machine skipped like a little section. There's no hair, threads or anything hanging um, and my daughter, in law soon to be daughter-in-law sews quite well so we could just stick it right on there and, and repair it but I am going to send it back to them if they have another one and just let them send me a pair that does not have the stitch flaw so but I really love these and honestly I think I can keep them so everything in my box was a total of my stylist picks everything was three hundred and fifty six dollars if I buy everything, the buy all five discount is $89. I don't have a styling fee because I have the styling pass, uh, which is uh, you pay $49, I think it was, for the whole year of styling and uh, anything you purchase that was credited back towards. So that was easy. So my box total with the buy all five discount was $267. And two of you clicked on my link and that is amazing. So thank you and thank you. That is what is listed on here. But actually, when I went to go and look about exchanging these pants, I saw that another one of you have clicked on my link. So thank you as well. So that is $75 in credit, allowing me to keep the jeans and the blue tank top. That, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate that. That is so, so kind, $101. That's amazing because of the discounts, but that's still not in my budget. Because the jeans are so, so expensive, I'm just going to be keeping them. Even though I love the blue tank, it's not in my budget. If I can keep the jeans, thanks to you guys clicking on my link, but I can't keep the jeans and the top. There's just, I just can't. So my total will actually be $43 for the jeans, which is amazing. And that is thanks to you guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. So please share your link. Share your link. And that way you can get some excellent discounts too. That is awesome. So, okay. I am so excited about this. I really, really am. I can't wait to wear these jeans. <laughs> It's, it's warm enough here in the fall that I can actually wear them now. So I'm excited about that. So there you go. All right. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you in advance if you choose to use my link. If not, there are lots of other Stitch Fix unboxing videos that you can click on their links as well as friends. If you have any friends, maybe click on their link or use their link. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Still changing things up a little bit, trying to figure out exactly where I need to stand with the camera to get the right angle for the split screen. <laughs> so I hope I've improved on that a little bit. So my room isn't long enough. That That's kind of the problem. So I'm kind of having to play with the camera. So we'll see. We'll get it all worked out. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it and we will see you next time. Bye.